Hello and welcome to iNature videos. In this video, we will discuss about EDI trading. After going through this video, you will be able to list advantages of EDI trading and describe the methods of EDI. Now let's see what is EDI. Electronic data interchange is the computer to computer sharing of business documents such as purchase order and invoices in the standard electronic format between business partners. EDI is used in almost all the industries such as aerospace, automotive, banking and finance retail sectors. EDI is considered as standard for the electronic exchange of documents for one company to another. EDI has existed for more than 30 years and there are several EDI standards. Some of these are for certain industries. Let us now see how does EDI work. There are three steps of sending EDI documents. The first step is to collect and organize the data to be shared with partners. There are software tools available to create an electronic file with the needed information to build an EDI document. The next step is to feed electronic data through translator software to convert data into EDI standard format using the suitable fragments and data elements. Once business documents are converted to the appropriate EDI formats, they are ready to be shared to the business partner. There are several ways of transmit the data and share with the partners. The common method of transforming the data are Connect directly using AS2 or another secure internet protocol. Connect to an EDI network provider using suitable communication protocol and rely on the network provider to connect to your business partner using whatever communication protocol they prefer. A combination of both depending on the particular partner and the volume of transactions you expect to exchange. Let us now look at the advantages of EDI trading. For a financial perspective alone, there are impressive benefits for implementing EDI with business trading partners. With each additional documents that is implemented can increase the cost saving. Implementation of ETI increases the accuracy of data collected. This will also result in improving supply chain efficiency and increases faster delivery time. Decreasing the order processing and delivery time means that the organization can reduce their inventory levels. Automating paper-based tasks frees teams to concentrate on higher value tasks. It provides teams with tools that will be more productive. EDI enables real-time views of transaction status. Thus, EDI enables quicker decision-making and to form business strategies. It allows businesses to implement a demand-driven business model rather than a supply-driven model. Let us now look at various methods of EDI. There are several types of EDI and approaches to assisting EDI across the trading community. Some of them are Direct EDI or Point-to-Point -point EDI. Direct EDI, sometimes called as Point-to-Point -point EDI, creates a single connection between two business partners. In this method, business partners connect with each other individually. It provides control for the business partners and is most commonly used between large customers and suppliers with a lot of daily transactions. EDI via Value Added Networks Value Added Network or VAN is private network where electronic business documents are shared between trading partners. The Value Added Network provider manages the network and provides companies with mailboxes where they can send and get the EDI documents. EDI via AS2 AS2 is an internet communications protocol that allows data to be transmitted securely over the internet. Web EDI Web EDI conducts EDI using a standard internet browser. Organizations use diverse online forms to interchange electronic documents with business partners. Web EDI makes EDI simple and inexpensive for organizations. 
Let us summarize what we have done in this video. We saw a brief overview of EDI. Then we saw how EDI works. We saw some of the advantages of EDI. Finally, we saw some of the standards or methods of EDI. Thank you very much for watching this video.